Welcome to Kennesaw, Georgia, in the greater Atlanta area and home to the Owls of Kennesaw State, where these fans have been eagerly anticipating this one all week. Today, we have a big Conference USA showdown in store. As we'll see, the Liberty Flames taking on the Kennesaw State Owl. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. Kennesaw State ready to kick it off and get this game going. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. The Flames offense will take the first swing of the game. And when you take the field with the confidence, the swag that this guy does, David, it just really elevates your confidence in the passing game. Uh, receivers don't usually lack confidence. And those are the guys that kind of set the tone. And that swagger sets the tone for this offense. And Jesse, you know he's going to make plays. And that speed scares defenses, too, because he can take the top off quick. These safeties better get back deep or else this guy's going to take it to the house. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. Option look, it's Salter. Good, solid, determined run there. They'll mark him down at the 27. You know, as a quarterback, when you're doing this zone read play, you got to read that defensive end. And if he crashes down hard inside to take the running back away, right away you know now you're keeping the football. Nice job by the quarterback. Third down conversions, always a huge stat, and they've got a third and long from the 27. Dropping back, it's Salter. Oh, he's going to try to hit him deep. And that one falls incomplete, trying to get a chunk play on that one. That's why it's so important for this defense to win first and second down. You set up third and longs like that, you can show your exotic looks, you can get the pass rush going, everybody on the back end expecting throw, and that's how you force incompletions and force fourth downs. And the Flames will try to pin them back with the punt. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. Just needs a crack to get a return. Coverage team gets the job done, and they'll mark him down at the 38-yard line. So the Kennesaw State Owls offense will try to get something started with their first possession. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play while they immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these guys are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. It's first and 10 from the 38-yard line. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. And the defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe needed a few more chain links to move the sticks. And that would be the definition of first down success. Putting yourself in a good position. It's second and inches. I can do whatever I want next. I can take a shot down the field. I can run the football and get a new set of downs. Like, nice first down execution. On the option. Now the pitch. And they'll ride him down, but not before he picked up the first down. And how about the timing on that pitch? Offense working from the pistol. Here comes the option. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. The option football is about responsibility, but I can't give up my hand. I can't show him really quickly and make it easy on him. Good job by the defense staying patient, defending all the options, stringing it out, making a nice play. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. On the option. Now the toss. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground.
third and long coming from the 27-yard line. You can make a field goal from here. Just don't take a negative play. Looking for a man. It's Bryson. Finds his big tight end. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. Ever since they invented the forward pass, the tight ends have been running the drag and getting the first down. I think it's because the tight ends is so much versatility. You know, they can block and stay in the formation, or they can release and come out. But either way, if the quarterback's patient, most of the time, that drag route's going to come over. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. I love when you start bringing linebackers up near the line of scrimmage and you start sending them because those guys have serious speed. They can come catch anybody up and down the line of scrimmage. The linebacker, you could tell, he had a good clue what was going on. He knew it was a run play, fired, pulled the trigger, came downhill, and attacked the running back. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Got enough space. And he scoots his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. Man, these plays are just so demoralizing for defenses. You, have, you did a good job. You got him in a third and predictable situation. What does he do? Finds a way out of it, makes a big play. Now he's set up first and goal. Forget that play. Now let's hold him to a field goal. Off the play fake on first down. And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. Bounced right back to them. Well, ball security doesn't just apply to running backs and receivers. QB's got to keep two hands on the ball as well. And they're very lucky after that fumble that the offense jumped on. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. The run up the middle, trying to find its way to the goal line. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. And with the stuff there, Jesse, on second down, this little third to mid-range, you got two downs. What are you thinking here? Maybe getting your quarterback out on the perimeter and giving him a run-pass option. See if you can get the defense in a bind. And they've moved their way down, but still they need two more yards. Can they bang it in with the running game on third down? Strong, firm tackle. Man, it has been a long drive offensively. I just feel like you got to pay this off and be aggressive. You're down close. Punch it in for a touchdown here, Pollock. Yeah, and inside the three-yard line, I think I might try to finish this off with a touchdown. I ate up a ton of clock, wore these guys out. Now they'd have to go the length of the field if I missed. Trying to bully their way in. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Owls! The offense goes as he goes. So really no surprise on the opening drive. They keep feeding him the football. He showed you all of his ability on that TV. Lining up for the PAT. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. Precise, relentless execution on that 13-play scoring drive. And they capped it off with a one-yard punch. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Liberty takes over the flame, sending the offense back onto the field. On the move at the 30. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. 
And here we go. If you're an offense, you got to get that ground game going so you can have some balance, and then you give it to your quarterback, Palmer, and let him make some plays down the field later on. Yeah, exactly. And coming into this game, this offense knew they were going to have to some way, somehow, at least establish a semblance of a running game for exactly what you just said. you got to be able to use play-action pass later in this game to get some explosive plays down the field. And it's a play like that that we just saw, which can help them get that goal. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Quarterback on the keeper. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. How about the defensive end understanding football? Understanding that I got to keep outside contain. I'm responsible for the quarterback. Good job playing his responsibility. And how about getting that sucker on the ground? He's a pretty good athlete to be able to corral him, tackle him right in the middle of the field, and get him to the ground. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. Gets away from and the defense is there. He got away for a second, but not for long as they knock him down for a loss. And come on now, O-line. You got to take care of your quarterback. He takes care of you. He's the one who takes you to meals. He's the one to get you those NIL deals. Everything happens through your quarterback. You got to keep him upright. That is your number one priority. The Flames will send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And the return man is stopped, and that'll leave it up to the offense on the next drive. Looking for a productive play on first down. Use the play fake, now to throw. And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. When it's a play-action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot. And they are looking for a ball play that'll work. Now facing second and long from the 19. The lone back's got it. Knocked down after picking up five out to the 24. I know the passing game sells and the passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards of pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. This is a third and long. Looking to throw and he needs a chunk play. Got out of trouble, got rid of it. Got the back over the middle. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. You got to love that on defense. One of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives alive? Right there, tackling the catch. You gave up the completion. whoop de you do You've set up fourth and long. You're going to get the ball back. Go get some water and celebrate. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. On the return, it's green. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. Liberty takes over and the Flames offense ready to go to work. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. And offenses want to continue to feature the run. They want balance. Even if it's not super successful, you can take it a little bit at a time just to keep that defense honest. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Handoff from the gun. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. And these defensive tackles just eat people. They swallow human beings when you get near them. They're so big, so strong. And those guys, those running backs come in, they just need a mitt. They put one mitt on a running back, and he usually falls to the ground just because of their sheer mass and strength. Here they come, facing third and long from the 40. Gives it to the back on the draw. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. Well, that's kind of the advantage of third and medium, right? Is the defense, you keep them guessing. You could throw it, you can run it. That time they hand it off and they pick it up. Yeah, and you can see the D drop back a little bit. It creates a little bit of space. The running back blasts through, gets the first down. 
And the Flames getting set on first and ten. Goes to the option. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. The toss to the right. Hard running there. And a decent gain there before the defense makes the stop. Yeah, this offense is going to try to run the ball and do it in a variety of ways. You'll see zone reads. You'll just see straight downhill running. We'll get the toss play going as well to try to keep this defense on their heels. Now facing a third and long. Looking to throw at Salter. Well, the quarterback can make a big play when he starts moving around. At the 35, he's loose. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. And you're seeing here the difficulties defenses have trying to contain this guy. If you leave a lane open or you don't sack him right away, you allow him to get outside the pocket, he is going to take off, and he is very difficult to tackle in the open field. He's got running back-like ability out in space. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Flushed out of the pocket. Trying to make magic on the scramble. He's going to be able to pick up a few yards before the slide. He does a good job of dropping back, going through his progressions. Nothing there. What do I do? Go get some yards. Make it positive. Don't sit back in the pocket and force something into a bad situation or take a sack. Great job making something out of nothing. The Flames have pushed it inside the 20. They'll give it to the back. Finally pulled down, but not before. Moving the chains for a first down. Well, the defense knew coming into this one it was going to be a physical game. Guys are going to have to be great at the point of attack and get off blocks and make tackles. They couldn't stop the offense from picking up that first down on that run play. No big secret what they're trying to do here. They've kept it on the ground. It's first and ten. To the ground. He's got it again. <clears throat> Pulled down after a pickup of five. They'll mark it at the eighth. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Oh, and they'll try to catch him with a pass. And good coverage and better hands on that shot to the end zone. Oh, and the QB so lucky that that one wasn't picked off. These are small windows to throw into down here in the red zone. Defense tipped it up in the air. A lot of defenders lurking around. Lucky that ball hit the ground. Scanning the field, it's Salter. He's got it on the move. Good tackle there to stop him short of the first down. It'll bring up a big decision. You see it more and more. Smaller wide receivers, I don't care about their size anymore. I put them in the slot. I let them get a good matchup. They're so quick, people can't get their hands on them. They make plays, and I feed them the football. These are guys that have a lot of catches throughout a season. Oh, and the attempt is no good. After that miss, still a seven-point game, guys. Well, that's one the kicker would like to have back. That's a kick he should be making in his sleep. Guys, we're about to see this Kennesaw State offense go back to work. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. He's looking to throw, trying to get to it. He's got it. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. Man, if 
I'm a defense, I got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. I got to be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. Both teams wanted to establish the run, and they have done exactly that in the first quarter. Heading in the opposite directions now as we crank it up in the second. Now they'll line it up from the 44 on first and 10. Quickly out to the tight end. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. And this has got to be so demoralizing for this defense right now, having given up multiple first downs on this drive. Somebody on defense has to step up, make a play, and stop the bleed. Kennesaw State coming out with another first down. Back to pass, it's Bryson coming after it. And the Heat gets home. They knock him down back at the 45. And a great job by the defense, dropping in zone coverage, all eyes on the quarterback, taking away the options, and then the, finally the pass rush gets home, gets him on the ground. This pass rush has just been relentless, and you can bet your bottom dollar they're about to bring the heat again. The play action fake. Now adjusting. Trying to make magic with his feet. He's finally stopped, but a big play there with his feet as he moves those sticks. He can throw it. He can buy time. He can run it. What, what can't he do? This guy's so talented. When he does stuff like this, there's no way to stop it. There's no way to coach a defense up against us. He's just really fast, and I can't catch him. The give to the back. They stop him right on the edge of the red zone, a pickup of five to the 20. I, I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make them honor the run. Make them know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Off the boot, looking for his man. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. And because of this guy's athleticism, you've got to find so many creative ways to let him carry the football. You'll see it on zone reads. You'll see it on draws, designed runs. How about the old-fashioned bootleg, though? Let him use his speed out on the perimeter to the right, and he sets off a huge game. They're going to give it to the wide receiver on first and goal. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. And I got to find ways to manufacture some offense down here in this area. The field shrinks. It gets a little bit more difficult. So I got, I got to take a few more chances, get the ball to some speed on the perimeter, try to make some big plays. They've moved it forward to the two. Now it's second and goal. Looking for a pass to the end zone to the right. And he is stopped, not getting close to the end zone. Line of scrimmage still at the three. Defensively, man, I play so much more man coverage when it gets down near the red zone, down inside the 20-yard line this area of the field. I, I got less space to cover. I don't have to worry about them running way down the field really deep, but I do have to worry about them finding ways to get wide receivers, tight ends, speed the ball on the perimeter. Defense was ready for a pretty good job by the defense. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. And decision time coming for this offense. How about the defense? They've hung in there, Palmer, made him earn it all the way down. Now, are you going to go for it on fourth down? Yeah, you know, after running so many plays offensively on the drive, I know it'd be disappointing to only walk away with a field goal, but you'd feel even worse if you went for a touchdown and didn't get it. I think you kick it right here. It's good. And they'll push that lead out a little further.
So the kickoff team is out there ready to boot it away after putting up a field goal. Let's see what the defense can do. And he hauls it in, and everybody's on the edge of their seats. And he's able to pick his way through the traffic nicely for a good return on that one before he's brought down. Running the option, it's Salter. Good, solid run on that one as he gets it up to the 33-yard line. This defense really has their hands full, guys. they got to play with great eye discipline because they don't know who's going to be keeping the football in the run game. And that time, you saw the QB. He was able to kind of skirt his way to get some positive yards. Kept it on the ground last time. Let's see if they go back to it on second down. They'll go to the toss. Tackled at the 43 after picking up 10. You know, it looks like they just flip the ball and everything just magically works. You know why this toss to the left works? Because the wide receivers block. You know, I know you don't say that very often. Most of the time they want to run out, you know, get the glory, catch the ball. But they got to do a good job of blocking. When you toss it on the perimeter, those guys are pivotal for this play to have success. Really good job blocking on the perimeter. This offensive line better figure out a plan for this D tackle. He is tough to block with one guy. You might want to start double teaming him. He's going to be a problem moving forward. You saw all of his ability on that last play. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They'll run it from the gun. Continuing to churn and move it forward, and they're closing in on midfield. It's down at the 48. Here on third down, will they go back to the running game? Looking to throw at Salter. He makes the connection. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep him from getting the first down. He might have expected to see this DB up in his receiver's kitchen instead. Nice little zone, and they pick up the first. Man, offenses are getting so good, Reese, at seeing the holes in the zone, knowing you're in zone, knowing where to sit down, how to make it an easy pitch and catch for the quarterback, and that's what it was on third and short. From the gun, give on the inside. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. Might as well stick with him. And the Flames get enough for the first down. You got to have short area quickness. That running back there doing what it takes to make sure he got that first down. Finally, this offense starting to show a little juice. They've got a first and ten. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Not just hard-nosed running, that's cement-nosed running as he gets it to the 25. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. They'll run the option. They bring him down, and he's going to lose the yard on that one. And great job getting in the backfield, making it very difficult to him to make reads and understand what the heck's going on, bottling him up. That's the biggest thing. When you play a running quarterback, you want to bottle him up. You want to set those edges really, really firm and make him turn back inside where all the big boys are coming and you don't let that speed get to the outside. He'll try to pop the draw. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. All right, defense, that's, that's what we can't do. We can't give up this many chunk yards on the ground. Got to commit more guys to the line of scrimmage. Got to get those running backs on the ground. That's way too easy. The Flames have it with a first and ten. Running to the left. Relying on that running game as they threaten to pick up a four down to the 13.
going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. The give to the tailback. Ball down after a gain of five. It's at the nine-yard line. I think that was an example of the offensive coordinator trying to help out his quarterback. He's trying to keep these third downs manageable. You know, you throw the ball on second down and it's incomplete. Now you've set up third and long, and now you're set up to fail. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. Trying to pick it up on the ground. And he sprints to the end zone. Touchdown, Flames. Precision blocking up front created the open lane, and the running back followed it beautifully. Yeah, um, it's pretty easy to follow an offensive line that makes those holes and just gives you a caravan all the way to the end zone. What an unbelievable job blocking up front. PAT unit on the field. And with the extra point, the lead is cut to three. It's 10 to seven. Precise, relentless execution on that 13-play scoring drive. And what a way to finish it with a nine-yard touchdown run. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. He'll start the return inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. Guys, we'll get another look at this Kennesaw State offense. Power football with the run. Into the pile, maybe got one. He stopped at the 21. They're strong and they're scrawl. Defensive tackles, they're scrawl. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance. When you got that 300-plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. He's going to let one fly down the middle. And they wanted it all on that incomplete pass. Instead, they're looking at third down. Really nice play by the defender, being in a good position for that deep ball down the field, not letting the receiver put his big body on him, go up over top. The only thing that could have been better is that thing tipped to another defender, and it was an interception, but great coverage by the defender. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Unloads to the wideout. Just masterful working that sideline and getting the toe down for the catch. This is exactly why third down is practiced every single day. Third and short, third and medium, third and long. It's money down for a reason. You got to lock in. Great success by the offense so far on third down. They've got it at the 37. It's first and 10. Leaves it with the running back. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. Wants to throw. It's Bryson. He's right on target. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. It's definitely the wide receiver's job to create space, right? So whether you're running a go or you're running a hitch like this right here, I got to find a way to push off legally or just create a little bit of space to get some positive yards. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up on the ground here. He's got first down yardage across the 50. They'll mark it at the 49. Well, the offense is in a really nice rhythm right now. It seems like no matter what they're dialing up, they're getting positive yards, and it just feels so good as a play caller when you know on first down you can get yards like that turning around and handing it off. Yeah, and on the other side, you're scratching your head going, what the heck can I do here? you got to find something. The defense has got to find a way to create some momentum. Whatever they're doing right now, it's not working. So you got to keep going through that play sheet and maybe find something a little bit different that can give this offense something to think about. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. Off play action. Looking to the big tight end. 
Finds a man on the left. They just gashed the defense on that one, and they've got it down to the 23. My goodness, this offense has got it rolled. They might put up a 50 burger. This defense, they don't have any answers right now. They're going to have to figure something out. Kennesaw State coming out with another first down. He's going to pass. Makes the catch. It's Kent. And that had all the makings of bug meat windshield. But how about the little corner taking on the big tight end and keeping him from getting the first? Just a quick rhythm throw there and really good use of the tight end. Yeah, good use of the big fella. I mean, go through your progressions real quick. You can't find anything. Get the easy gain. Don't take a shot down the field all the time. Take those shots later, but take those easy, wide-open opportunities to get some positive chunks. They get him down, but this offense is set up first and goal from the nine. Defense is backed up. Shadow of the goalpost trying to defend their own end zone. Off the play fake on first down to throw. And that's just a flat misfire, not even close to his receiver. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. They'll keep it on the ground to the left, stiffing the goal line. Snowed under after a pickup of two. They'll mark it at the eight. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can build on this lead before the break. They've gotten pushed back, but it's still third and goal. Back to throw, it's Bryson. And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. And for the second time tonight, they'll trot out the field goal kicker. It's good. Easy call for the ref. They'll kick it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. And the coverage team gets the returner on the ground. Liberty takes over the flame, sending the offense back onto the field. You want to talk about a drive where you impose your will? That's what they did running it down for a touchdown, David. There is nothing more demoralizing than that for a defense. To be physically pounded, the run is coming. You know it's coming, and you can't stop it. Nothing the defense can do. That is mano -y mano up front, and your guys getting a push. They know you're running it, and they still can't stop it. After they couldn't connect, it's second and ten. He's looking to throw. Makes his connection. Makes the stop at the 30, but a big 15-yard pickup gets him out of trouble. Really nice job by quarterback and wide receiver. This is why you do film work. This is why you throw on air all offseason. I know I get zone coverage. I know exactly where I'm breaking. I know exactly where to deliver the football. Nice throw, nice catch. They'll rush to the line. Clock stopped for the first down. They'll set the chains and wind the clock to throw. It's Salter. Going to take a shot. Makes the grab inside the 30. Touchdown, Liberty. A great catch and run for six. Well, as a defense, you know you're going to see the go route, especially against this guy. He does it to defenses, it seems, every single week. And so they're not able to get back deep enough. They get run by. He makes the catch and then runs it into the end zone. They're going to have to change up their coverage and get some safety help up over the top because this guy's speed is a problem.
He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point puts them on top by one. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the points come in a lightning strike, a 70-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff unit about to go to work. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Guys, we're about to see this Kennesaw State offense go back to work. Just a short pass to the tight end. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. They'll start this one from the 29 on first down. He's looking to throw it. Grabbed in the middle, it's Kent. Man, and tight ends in today's modern college football are so difficult to stop because they're so much more athletic than they used to be. Today, they're just like big wide receivers. So defensively, how do you stop it? Do you have someone who has the physical dimensions to match up with this guy one-on-one? -on -one? You might not, and if you don't, are you comfortable putting a slower linebacker on? And they got him. They'll get him down for the sack. Well, I think one of the biggest reasons why this team is finding themselves in a hole here in the first half is this has been a sack party. They can't keep the defense off of their quarterback. They haven't been able to get the ball deep down the field, throwing it with the consistency they want because they can't keep their quarterback standing up straight. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Caught over the middle, it's Moss. Timeout is called, and it's the defense wanting to make sure that everyone's on the same page for this big down. One of the things I love about this defense is they just have such great awareness, and they're always communicating. They understood the down and distance. They knew exactly what they needed to do to make the tackle to force the punt. That is so well done. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Liberty takes over, and the Flames offense ready to go to work. Throws to the wideout. He's got it. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Quick timeout from the offense to save precious seconds. Yeah, and I tell you what, when you stick these fast suckers in the slot, they don't have to be big. But you get those guys that are so quick in the slot, they can get great matchups, and I can get the ball to them quick because they're such dynamic playmakers. They're bringing heat. Escapes the sack. And he'll chuck it into the cheap seats there and save the down. Nobody getting open there. Give that guy a lot of credit, man. He was able to somehow avoid that sack, but nobody open downfield throws it away. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. Looking downfield, it's Salter. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to fight another play. We're just going to want to see this guy make faster decisions as this game goes on. He had all day to throw that, guys. I mean, he could have worked through seven or eight different progressions on that play and still never decided to get rid of it until it was too late and finally got hit. And after the big play to start the drive, now two straight incompletions, and they need to find a way on third down. He lobs one high down the left side. Can't make the connection in. Complete pass, and one second remains. Third and long situations are really hard to convert. The defense knows it's going to be passed. The pass rushers are getting upfield. You're under pressure. You don't have timing. And as a result now, fourth down. And the Flames line up to punt it away. They'll look to pin him deep. He will not make a fair catch. Field the punt and bring it back. That's a perfect example of not settling for a fair catch. Pick up whatever yardage you can and help out the offense. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Thanks, fellas. The end of a very entertaining first two quarters of football in Kennesaw. And if you thought that was a quick first half, you'd be right on the money. An offensive showcase, yes, but it's been those dynamic running backs who have set the pace. I'm curious to find out if this ground and pound approach is going to continue into the second half or if one of those defenses will actually show some pride. 
And with that, let's send it back to the guys at Fifth Third Bank Stadium. The Flames will try to kick this one deep to get things underway in the second half. Let's see if he can make a play on the return. And the returner could find no daylight. He goes down. Guys, we'll get another look at this Kennesaw State offense. They start this third quarter, one possession game, and hoping to get an early drive going. This offense is ready, and they're ready to take the field here and see if they can get something established. They don't have to change everything and reinvent the wheel. They've had some successes in the first half, so let's get that continued here on the opening drive. Yeah, and I love getting that break at half to go talk with my coaches and pick my offensive coordinator's brain so I know exactly what I need to do to attack this defense, and I get ball first. From the gun to give, looking for room. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. And a nice job by the running back, finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. You've got a third and manageable, back up in your own end, but convert here and you get some momentum. Now they'll run the draw. Crosses the 30, he's got a lane. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. And they just kind of sneak that one in there as a defensive guy, third and five plus. I'm thinking pass. They were thinking pass, Palmer, and they slipped the run in. And it's so nice then to have this guy at running back too, right? Because you could throw it to him on third down or hand it off, and he's got the vision and the athleticism to go pick up that first, keep the drive going. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And that's a great job by the defense, understanding exactly the situation, understanding to stay home, play sound. No matter who gets the football, we're going to run to the football hard. We're going to cage the football, be disciplined. Nice job by the defense. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. He leaves it with the back. And he's able to shed one tackle, but still just a very short game. Ball is at the 41 as this defense tries to force the punt on third and long. Back to throw, it's Bryson. And the defense gets to the quarterback. Man, I think this quarterback needs to take his offensive line out for dinners more often because they're not protecting him. And it's, sometimes it doesn't even look like they're trying. That now the sixth sack of the game for this defense. Kennesaw State will have to punt this one away. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. And they'll haul down the returner to start us on the next drive. Liberty takes over the flame, sending the offense back onto the field. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead. Yeah, and defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So we got to put them on their heels here. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen. Yet. Got three on first down at second and seven. The pull and throw off the RPO. And they'll get it to the 39-yard line, and they'll move the chains. One of the things that makes this guy so dangerous is how good he is after the catch. If he's got any space around him, he's able to burst. He's able to make people miss and get extra yards for his offense. You saw it right there. They'll snap it from the 39, first and 10. The give to the back. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. All right, this running backs have all kinds of success. Now we're getting later in the game. We've got to make sure we get some stops, get the ball back to our offense. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Looking downfield, it's Salter. Fires to the wideout. Picked off. Just a small return, but a big play as they have it now at the 45. 
defensive backs have tough jobs. I mean, you think about whether you play nickel, whether you play dime, whatever it is, you put more DBs on the field. It's more speed. It's more guys that can cover, but they also got to cover that ground. But to cover the ground and make the pick, a lot of times you don't see that. Superb effort by that guy. Guys, we're about to see this Kennesaw State offense go back to work. After a punt on their last possession, they are set up in plus territory this time. And honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if they scored a touchdown in their last possession. You've got to be able to turn the page and see this is a brand new opportunity to go get points. Yeah, and your defense has set you up for in a position to get points right away. Now, let's get this offense back rolling again, create some momentum, just get a few first downs, and I'm in scoring position. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. He's looking to throw. Using his legs, keeping his eyes downfield. Goodness gracious. This is a master class, a clinic on how to get to the quarterback. The seventh sack of the game. Are you kidding me? That's a season for some teams. They've lived in the backfield. Now trying to keep this drive alive on third and long from the 45. He's looking downfield to throw. Steps away to find some room. Get every inch you can, but don't take the big hit. Great job by the quarterback. I know he didn't pick up the first down, but man, he makes this fourth down way more manageable. It's tough when you got fourth in Africa. Did a great job of making this manageable and keeping the playbook open. Kennesaw State will have to punt this one away. He won't be able to return this one as it goes out of bounds. Liberty takes over and the Flames offense ready to go to work. He'll start this drive firing. Snagged in the middle, it's Mobley. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Quarterbacks love receivers that can do damage once they have the football in his hands. No doubt there. Easy slant, completion, and then let your receiver go make hay once he has the ball. With the first down, they'll put it in play from the 33. They go to the ground. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. It's the M.O. of this offense, and they really put a lot on the offensive line to go out and really try and establish their dominance and their assertiveness, and they've done a good job of that early in this game, running the football. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He'll ride his man on the option. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Looking to throw, it's Salter. Feeling some heat. And they got him for the sack. And listen, the quarterback drops back, and he's going through his progressions. We see zone, but just couldn't do anything about it. This defensive line, this pressure, getting to the quarterback, getting him on the ground. And the Flames will line up to punt it away. Fair catch called for and made. Guys, we'll get another look at this Kennesaw State offense. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession, Jesse. This offense needs to get their heads out of there, you know what. The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They've got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. These little games can start to add up as he gets it up to the 34. 
Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive game, making your situation really good on the next down. When you've already sent your punter out four times, at least he knows he's going to get his varsity letter, and his leg might get a bigger workout if they don't convert. And the third down pass is incomplete. Defense did a great job. Third and short on the opponent's side of the field. They're expecting quick throw. Everybody, they dug their heel on the ground. They're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. Kennesaw State will have to punt this one away. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Another punt on the way. Got to make sure those hammies and glutes all activated. Don't want any muscle pulls from overuse. Liberty takes over the flame, sending the offense back onto the field. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. Yeah, and there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. And screens are all about timing, right? You want to invite the defensive line to fly up the field, and then you want to throw it right over their head. And you could tell just a little bit off, and the defense got in there so quick, got the quarterback hit before he could really get his bearings and throw the screen. Looking for a man. It's Salter. Now he's going to break the pocket. Just slithered through the tackle when he's got room to run. He got past the sticks and slides to a stop, but there is a flag on the play. Holding penalties, the ultimate drive killer. We'll see if it costs this offense here. On third and long, he'll need to loosen up that arm. If I'm the offensive coordinator, I'm thinking about chipping this defensive end with running backs. I'm leaving my tight ends in to help this tackle because we cannot block him. He's already got two sacks. The Flames decide to punt it away. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. Sometimes avoiding disaster is the best thing. The punter just gets it out of there. Guys, we're about to see this Kennesaw State offense go back to work. They've had to punt the last couple of times they've had it, David, now trying to put something together. Well, Reese, you know how much I love punters and kickers. Like, you don't want to see them very often. Those are not guys that we want to see on the field. We want to do something else and be a little bit more productive offensively here. I think, David, on this drive, the quarterback's just got to settle down a little bit. These last few drives, looks like he's seen ghosts. We've seen him force the football. He's missed a couple throws. He needs to just take a deep breath and play within himself give to the running back and he's able to bounce off one tackle but still not a whole lot of running room I think you run that play on second down knowing it's going to make third down easy you're not trying to hit a home run you don't need the big play right now now you know third down everything's on the table everything's available high success rate now on third down for this offense to the air it's Bryson Oh, he's going to take a shot at the DB. He's got it downfield for a huge game. You don't give a hoop. Kennesaw State does. Touchdown, Owls. And with that, they've got the lead here in the second half. And I think sometimes QBs know before the snap who they're going to. You could tell he looks to the right immediately, knows his guy's going towards the middle of the field, reads the safety, put the ball on the money, over the linebackers, away from the safety, gets the big catch, and he walks into the end zone for a touchdown. Here comes the two-point try. They'll go to the air. Quick strike complete. He's not going to make it. The defense stops the two-point try, and this is still a five-point game. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the move from inside is five. 
Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Liberty takes over and the Flames offense ready to go to work. Hand off from the shotgun. Shakes off the defender. Still running at the 40. Busting big runs like this is a total team effort. Obviously, the back has to find the hole, but you got to have everybody around them doing their job to make it a good play call. And everybody around them doesn't just mean the offensive line. The receivers getting their blocks downfield is a big deal, too. It's a huge deal. We always talk about them catching passes, but blocking is so important for their responsibilities. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Takes the easy one to the back. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. Man, this guy's going to need some water when he gets to the sidelines. They've been putting him to work on this drive, right? You've seen him toting the rock with success. Now you're seeing him get involved in the passing game, too. They are highlighting his versatility here on this drive. Picked up some yardage with that completion. Now second down. They'll run the option. Now the pitch. At the 40, there he goes. A tremendous run. He was full bore after taking that pitch. Just sweet execution. Yeah, defensively, you better be ready to run east and west when you're playing against this offense in their running game. That time, the offense was able to outflank the defense to the right side for a big play. And the Flames come to the line with a new set of downs. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. The defense just simply not fooled by the play action. Oftentimes, as an offense, you're hoping the run fake's going to slow down those pass rushers. But man, oh man, they had their ears pinned back. So now on second and long, you start to think just don't fall out of field goal range. Dropping back, it's Salter. Looking left. Wide open downfield. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. I'll tell you what, that's great execution between the QB and receiver. They look like they could execute that throw in their sleep. Quarterback took his steps, threw it on time. Great route by the receiver. Nice job securing the catch. The Flames are in the red zone. They're going to run it. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. Stopping the run is about physicality. It's about I'm bigger than you. I'm stronger than you up front. Really nice job by the defense. Showing their strength, bowing up, stuffing the run. If you like old school running games, this has been the game for you and a couple of guys who starred through the first three periods. When you're dealing with a deficit like this, it's all about somebody stepping up to make a play, and you might as well start here in the fourth quarter. Handoff to the single running back. They get him down after a four-yard gain to the six. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Right through his hands. He had a touchdown and just didn't look the ball in. It'll be fourth down. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. Down of possession here in the fourth, and they'll need to convert on this fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Touchdown, Flames! And they've moved out front here in the fourth. And how about this quarterback right away seeing, I got to get rid of the football. There's a lot of guys near the line of scrimmage. He spits it out, and I let my receiver do the rest. Let my playmaker make me look really good. Really nice pitch and catch. And guess what? You got the lead now in the fourth quarter. Up. Uh -huh. 
Up by one, they'll try to get the deuce and make it a field goal edge. To the air, it's Salter. Incomplete on the two-point try. They tried to push this lead out to a field goal, but they'll have to settle for holding a one-point lead. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll take the return, try to get better field position. Good job by the coverage unit to stop the return man. Guys, we'll get another look at this Kennesaw State offense. After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really need to put something together to give their defense a rest. And that's a real thing, man. Like, you've played a lot of plays, you get worn out, you need a chance to go decompress on the sideline, get some oxygen. Palmer, now it's on this offense. Yeah, this is the definition of complementary football because it's a two-pronged problem. You've got to score points and answer, but you've also got to take your time and give your defense an opportunity to get their win. They'll run play action. Quickly to the tight end. Tackled, but he has a first down. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. The biggest key there is the quarterback understanding that A, it's zone, but B, what kind of zone is it? Is it one high safety? Is it two high safeties? And then you know instinctively where your best throw, where your highest percentage completion is based on what type of zone coverage it's going to be. Leaves it with the back. They wrestle him to the ground, but he's got plenty for a first down. Well, on offense, you've got to love the way your offensive line is playing in this game. They're getting tremendous movement up front. They're climbing in the second level and really giving these backs and ball carriers a lot of room to run all game long. Kennesaw State coming out with another first down. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Quarterback strolling away from heat. And he can't find a receiver, and down he goes. This poor quarterback has been running for his life. He has never been able to get his feet set, stare downfield, and try and pick this defense apart because he's constantly throwing with pressure in his face. They'll try to keep that sack from wrecking this drive here on second and 15. To the air, it's Bryson. Skips away from pressure. Trying to escape and get it himself. On the run and he'll slide to avoid the hit, a nifty pick up there. When it gets in long yardage situations, defensively you're thinking pass, pass, pass. How about the quarterback doing a great job? He wants to push it down the field, but he does a great job scrambling, chewing up chunks of yards, and now making this situation a lot more manageable. From the gun, wants to pass. He'll try to do it himself. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. Great players like this just do a good job of making you pay. And if you want to drop back and play coverage, that's fine. He can scramble around, buy time, beat you down the field. But if nothing's open, boom. I take it and easily get a first down, make a big play, just make it a headache for the defense. Looking for a crease to the left. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground, take away that run game, make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. He'll keep it himself. And he has a solid game before the defense bottles him up. Yeah, and it's so hard to contain this guy with all those options he has and the experience at the quarterback spot. But nice job by the defense limiting the damage. Didn't give up a huge game. Kick the field goal from here. It's a 51-yarder. Get a few on third down, and life is much better. Keeps it on the bootleg. And with that, the chain gang will get busy. First down, Kennesaw State. Well, he does a really nice job buying time. And I love the awareness there, understanding no one's open downfield, knowing where the sticks are, and he's able to use his athleticism to get that first down. And they'll line up from the 31 on first down.
They'll go to the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. You see all this movement in football now, all the stem in the defensive line. They're sliding right before the snap, creating confusion for the offensive line. Then they're moving back and stunting. Really good job by the defense. Continue to move, continue to stunt, continue to get in the backfield and make this life hard on this running back. To the air, it's Bryson. Gets it out quickly. Afterburner's coming. Touchdown, Kennesaw State. They move on top here on the fourth. I think one of the most underrated things we talk about with the QB is timing. Being able to get the ball out of his hands to his receiver where he can continue to catch the football and run with it. Nice pitch, nice catch, nice play in the fourth quarter when you needed it for this team to take the lead. And now they'll try to get the two-point conversion, guys. He'll set up to throw. He's moving out of the pocket. Looking, trying to escape. Cannot. The sack thwarts the two-point try. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Liberty takes over the flame, sending the offense back onto the field. Hand off to the lone back. On the move at the 30. They make the stop, but this running game moves the chains as they get the first down. Man, there's not a running back in the country that doesn't want to get fed and get fed and get fed, and he has been. He's been fed, and now he's up to 150 yards, so great productive day for this running back and create a lot of balance on this offense. Might as well give it to him again. At the 45 on his way! And he was off to the races, and he gets it to the 45. Nice job getting outside, right? Those running backs, they get on those tracks, they run outside. Now they're in the open field. It's so tough. Those safeties are flying down, try to get an angle, but you could tell the speed sets them up, makes the big play out to the left. Now a first down from the 45-yard line. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Looking for a huge play. Catch and stride inside the 15. Run out of bounds after the long game, but they've got it now first and goal. What a beautiful throw and catch on this play, and I love the job the receiver did tracking the ball in the air. Nice job of locating the throw and then hauling it in. And a touchdown here would not only give them the lead, but in the fourth quarter, that ramps up the pressure. Trying to run it in. And the defense stuffs the run, and the ball will remain at the two. It's an offense that takes pride in being physical. They try to get it going on the ground, but no gain on that one. Just nowhere to run. Not a lot of wiggle room for the ball carry. This defense came in knowing that they had to match their physicality. Let's see if they can keep it up. Dropping back, it's Salter. Touchdown, Liberty! And with that, they move out front here in the fourth. And some of these guys make it look so easy, but these are tight windows down here, man. There's not a lot of space on the field, and he drops back, knows exactly where he's going with the football, throws it in there, makes the play, and more importantly, now his team is in the lead in the fourth quarter. Up by one, they're going to try to get the deuce here and make it a field goal lead. 
from the gun. Pocket starts to collapse. And he was able to run through one tackle, but still only a modest gain. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Guys, we're about to see this Kennesaw State offense go back to work. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. getting set on second down. Trying play action. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. And they are fortunate to get the ball back, but unfortunate to have a long way to go after that loss. Woo. Deep breath, right? Man, you, you fumble that thing, you cough it up, you're like, oh, I really appreciate you, brother. I can't tell you how much I thank you because the coaches would have been all over me, but big-time break for the offense. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Back to pass. It's Bryson. Gets it out fast. At the 15, he's loose. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. Listen, you hear all the time about how important it is to stay on schedule offensively, right? And this is a perfect example. You just can't have negative plays early in drives because even when you come up with big plays like we just saw, you're still miles away from picking up this first down. You're making it so hard on your offense. Here's the fair catch, but there is a flag on the field. We might have to do this one again. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and four. He'll pull it on the read. And the ball's loose in the backfield. Oh, it looks as if the defense got it. And when you run the option, you run the risk of putting the ball in the deck. And especially once that thing starts to string out and the defense does a really good job playing assignment football, man on a man. I got the quarterback taken care of, and you could tell. Had the running back taken care of, too. Nowhere to go with that pitch, and they forced the turnover. Liberty takes over, and the Flames offense ready to go to work. A handoff keep working on that clock. And the stiff arm was strong, but the defense was stronger, and they stop him for a short game. And I like the first thought process right here. Run the football. We want to run that clock with the lead. Thank you to the defense for forcing that turnover, setting us up. Now if we can put a few first downs together, we're looking really good. Back to throw, it's Salter. Finds his big tight end. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. Such a tough spot to be in on defense because you're trailing, you're expecting the offense to run the football. They just did it on the last play, and then on a critical third down, they go play action, and they throw it over your head. You gotta feel for this defense. They've got it down to the 32. First and 10 coming. Movement here from the tight end. From the gun, running back on the move. Not much there on the run. He gets one to the 31. This offense thinks that they have enough left in the tank here to run the football and run all the time off the clock. They got the lead late. Didn't get the first down on that last one, but it's not going to surprise anybody if they turn around and hand it off again here. 
didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. The pressure, the intensity is palpable. A huge play right here on third and two. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. Runs through a tackle. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Man, this offense would really like to lean on this guy in the fourth quarter, right? They've got the lead, and you just saw his ability there, breaking a tackle. He looks like he's getting stronger as the game goes on. I'd expect him to get a few more carries here before this game's over. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. I'd expect we're going to get another dose of the running game at this point, even though it's second and 11. They'll try the counter. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. From the gun, the running back looking for room. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot. It is perfect. So they're lining up to kick it off after that last drive, put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut him down. He'll start the return inside his spot. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Guys, we'll get another look at this Kennesaw State offense. He's going up top here late in the game. Makes a grab on the right. And they were looking for a chunk play, and they got it. The explosive picks up more than 30. That's a beautiful pass and catch. I love the job the quarterback does manipulating the defense with his eyes. He froze that safety, and that allowed his receiver more room to work his route. Every second is meaningful, and they save a few of them with the spike. This offense has a second down play. Looking to pass. It's Bryson. Bought a little time. Let's it go. He's got his man. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. And they got the completion, but still looking at a third down. Looking to throw for it. Unloads to the wideout. Complete downfield. And a nice grab with a defender right on him, and he's down at the 20. This quarterback has been really good today. He's been on top of it, seeing things really, really well. That pass right there put him over the 300-yard mark. That's a pretty good day. Offense rushing to the line of scrimmage. Clock is stopped for the first down. They'll try to get it off quickly. He spikes it. Clock stops as they try to rally late.
Let's see what they've got on second down. He's looking to throw. Good job to toss that ball out of bounds and avoid the loss. Well, obviously here in the fourth quarter trailing, they're going to be throwing the ball, trying to get back in this game. Couldn't come up with it there on second down. They're expecting them to throw it here on third. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third down, going up top. And they can't hook up on the big play, and that brings up a fourth down. And if you're the defense right now, you've given up some yards on this drive, but you've got a possession lead. You just need one more stop after that last incompletion setting up fourth down. Do you blitz? Do you try to speed up the QB? Let's find out and watch. On fourth down, looking to pass. Going for it all. Throw to the end zone, picked off. 